Okay, so that was a few weeks ago when I filmed that intro at IMATS in New York. I have been back in Australia for just over a week, watching my suitcase full of cosmetics from America and thinking, when am I going to find time to film for the channel? So here we are. I'm going to film it in segments, and this is the first that I did want to film for you. So I did go to IMATS. IMATS was held over April 13th, 14th, and 15th in New York City, down by the pier, and it was the first time that they've used that location. I think it's only the second year that New York has hosted an IMATS. So from what I can hear, the New York show is not nearly as big as the LA Pasadena show and it's still building vendors. So it's probably a lot of people who do display the vendors available there at Pasadena and LA who don't make it out to the New York show. The New York show is still sort of building an audience and building vendors from what I can understand. It's also in Toronto. London, Sydney, but it is available, unlike the makeup show, to pros as well as to the public. So you buy a ticket online, you line up on the day and in you go. And there's a lot of pros there on the day, a lot of things going on, competitions and all kinds of things. Most of the vendors do offer significant discounts off their regular retail price. I know that stands true for Sydney as well. And it is worth going to for the experience. If you're a makeup fan like me, uh, you'll really enjoy the experience. And this was the first thing that we got walking in the door was a big old bag to fill. It was really fantastic to go. I did see some familiar faces from YouTube. I did see Encore Makeup, Goren. I love him. I had a chance to have a little chat with him and he was sweet as can be. As was Tanya Burr and her boyfriend Jim, <laughs> whom have channels here on YouTube. Most of you I'm sure would be familiar with Tanya Burr from Pixie 2 Woo. And Jim Chapman, her boyfriend, is also the brother of Sam and Nikki Chapman of the Pixie Woo channel in the UK. Okay. I did spot Amariks and uh, Miss Glamorazzi, Ingrid, from YouTube too. All of the makeup stalls and uh, demonstration stalls were absolutely amazing. Some of the big names there were Inglot, NYX, OCC, Eve Pearl. Makeup Forever was a bit of a disappointment. I think they just had a booth with some brochures maybe about their school, but they weren't really selling cosmetics there. One of the highlights was seeing the Australian company Gorgeous Cosmetics. They were featured in a recent monthly subscription box sometime in the last few months. I got a beautiful red uh, lip pencil from them in the shade Scarlet. I love it and they really had a nice range of makeup there. Had a chance to speak with the Australian director and the founder and it was really great to speak with them and see how they've been finding entry into the American market which is what they're focusing on now. And the biggest highlight for me besides the fact that I was traveling to IMATS with my beloved sister Lainey. We caught the train up to New York just for the overnight trip and had a fantastic time, memorable time. It was just fantastic was to meet my very good friend Amy. So most of you who've been watching my channel for a while would be familiar with my friend Amy who we met through this YouTube channel. She responded to one of my videos asking me if she could help me find some products in America that I wasn't able to get or MAC cosmetics that I'd complained about paying too much for and she has just been a really good friend and that was the first time that I met her. We met in line at IMATS and uh, it was just fantastic to finally meet Amy and her beautiful daughter Natasha and um, and enjoy that experience with them as well. So hi Amy, hi Natasha, and a big huge shout out to little Scarlett, Amy's other daughter who did not make it. It was such a pleasure to meet your mummy and your sister and next time I hope to meet you too Scarlett. So without further ado, I wanted to show you what I picked up at IMATS. It was very, very thoughtful of them to give everyone nice big bags with very strong handles. The first thing we did when we rocked in was race to the Inglot booth and we had a pretty good spot in line but I will tell you Inglot was busy right from the get-go so I had a list I knew exactly what I wanted I had a list of what I wanted from Inglot as did Amy and um, and everyone else there there were hundreds of people like four people deep and that was the first place we ran to when we got in the door it was crazy it took us probably an hour to get served and get everything that was on the list that was exhausting. People were sort of pushing each other out of the way. And this time they learnt, I think, from some of the previous eye mats by fixing the swatches to the counter so that you could test the product when you got up to the counter. But they've had problems before where, you know, Inglot is where you take the actual 
product pan off the display and stick it on a magnet tray and then you hand that to the sales associate to tell them what you want. That doesn't work so well in a makeup show situation so they have learnt from previous experiences you could tell and they fixed it so that if you wanted to touch and swatch any products you did have to get up to the counter and do it there and then when you knew what you wanted they had a little list there that you could write down on paper and then hand to them so that they could pick whatever it was that you wanted. So that was nice. Rather than a line, it was just a square, you know, they had tables making up a big square. It was empty in the middle. That's where they had all the staff and that's where they had all the product. And then they had the samples in little intervals around that square and people were just four people deep, you know, surrounding the entire huge uh, display from Inglot. So I dare say that's probably what the setup will be in Sydney this year later on. My advice would be wherever you can just find out what you want from Inglot before you go in. Other thing worth noting is that I found out from other YouTubers post IMATS videos is that you could actually go into the IMATS store in New York City and they were also offering that same discount at IMATS. I can't remember if it was 30 or 40% off regular retail. It was a great saving and well worth it. But you could also get that at the Inglot store in New York. So ladies, again in Australia and elsewhere around the world, it may be worth just finding out from your local Inglot store if they'll be doing the same thing for the show so that if you get to the show, there's all these people surrounding the Inglot stall. Know that you can maybe spend your time elsewhere at the show that day and still get that great discount at the store if you head there that afternoon. I got a few things from Inglot. These were all pre-planned purchases. I have not had a chance to use them yet. The first thing I got was a Freedom System palette and this one is the 20 system palette. I think each shadow went for about $4.50 American uh, at the show. And what's beautiful about this one is I just got all 20 colors of the rainbows. So what you're actually getting in 20 pans here is 20 times three shades per pan. So 60 different shades here. Fantastic for makeup artists, of course. Travels nicely with the little magnetized lid. Plenty of people have posted swatches of these online and I'm just excited about the fact that you've got the same gradients if you're just wanting to do sort of a monochrome eye it's all there in that one little pan for you and you've got 60 colors and then I also got their pressed powder their pressed powder comes with a little sponge in a mirror compact and it's like a color correcting um, powder this is in the shade 24 and you can just see it sort of color correcting you can either swirl it all together or use each of the four shades as powder I really liked that because you don't see a lot of colored powder palettes I liked that it was in a nice compact case as well so I would definitely take that traveling a really great option there and then the last thing I got from Inglot was their cream powder and this is in the color 86 I did go to the Inglot store uh, we had a fantastic hotel right in Times Square it was the W Hotel which is ultra chic and modern if you're going to New York City I would definitely recommend staying at the W Hotel Every single staff member looks like a Hollywood movie star. They're absolutely gorgeous. I gasped every time one of the porters came up to take our bags or to bring our bags to us. They're all absolutely stunning. Anyway, it's right in Times Square and it's right across the road, just less than a block away from the Inglot store. So it was a fantastic opportunity just to run into Inglot and make sure that there was nothing that I wasn't forgetting before we got to the show. So this is their cream to powder foundation. Very creamy, color 86 looking forward to seeing how that goes it does say that it's cream powder so like a cream to powder foundation so a few tips for those who will be attending IMATS shows around the place from here on out I would say book your tickets early they definitely do sell out these shows they usually have over a couple of days that you can go with a pro day the day before so in New York the Friday was a pro only day and then the Saturday and the Sunday were open to public who had purchased tickets in New York they had sold out the tickets so it's well worth booking as far in advance as you can and then secondly get there early it's definitely a big long line and I would recommend getting there as early as you can to get into that line before the opening time and uh, seeing if you can get in first and that's going to give you a better chance of getting to a stand like the Inglot store where you don't have to wait half an hour or an hour just to be served and the NYX one was also very busy so here at the New York show I would say the busiest stalls would have been Inglot and and Nick's and there were lots of other fantastic things happening a lot of prosthetic makeup a lot of body painting uh, Corinne of Encore makeup even did like a 3d body art it was absolutely spectacular all kinds of things going on stage shows for 
the day, fashion shows, all kinds of things, a lot of activity, a lot of energy and just a fantastic place to be. So the next place I hit after Inglot was NYX and NYX was kind enough to supply like a big huge canvas bag to put all of your purchases in. The things that I got from NYX, some of them were pre-planned. I picked up a NYX Butt Naked Eyes palette. I think NYX was offering probably 30 to 40% off their regular retail as well and this is what the Butt Naked palette looks like. You can see those 15 shades of eyeshadow there and then a little drawer slides out does have a big large mirror and then what slides out of the eyeshadows is those face products so you've got the four blushes you've got the two bronzers and the illuminator in the middle so that's the butt naked palette quite a popular palette uh, from the reviews online and you can get this shipped on ebay for probably around 36 to 40 dollars i would say i think this was around 20 dollars at the show and just a, a great little a compact to have if you're traveling with everything in it there i did also pick up from nyx their pore filler they just have a little display on the back of the box to show uh, they say it's unfinished photos and that certainly looks good they say that this is a magical agent that minimizes the look of pores to create a smooth porcelain doll like finish to your face so looking forward to seeing how that goes and i did also pick up the nyx stain matte but not flat liquid foundation i've heard great things about the powder i believe that's a stay matte but not flat powder this is oil free water based full coverage mineral enriched and it's a matte finish obviously i got this in the shade 02 nude not sure how perfect a match it is for me i have not tried that yet we also got a catalog i guess anyone who was making a purchase got a full catalog for spring summer 2012 and there's definitely things in here that i have not seen seen yet. Uh, new glosses, new stick blushes, uh, new colour lip balms, roll-on shimmers, glam shadow sticks there or these lip glosses. They're called the Glam Lip Gloss Aqua Luxes. So some beautiful products coming out from NYX over the spring and summer. And I did get a couple of palettes. I got the Runway Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the shade Catwalk 04. And they just sort of say that they're the shades there. I picked that up for a girlfriend. I did also get their Matte Smoky Look One Night in Morocco Palette. So this is what that palette looks like. We've got eight eyeshadows all in sort of brown, grey, neutral colours. An eyeshadow base, that's a cream form. And then four lip products. And of course the lip products are separate i really like that we'll see how long that eye base lasts i don't like cream and powder in the same kind of compact compartment and then the last palette that i picked up from nyx was their winter in moscow silver gray smoky look and the winter in moscow is like a book kind of thing with a magnetic closure you can see that they've got in that palette just a little size mirror we've got two blushes we've got these lip colors across the bottom and then all of these eyeshadows for sort of darker smokier more dramatic looks and i did also pick up their concealer this is above and beyond full coverage concealer and it's in the purple shade they say that this is lightweight crease free provides smooth long-lasting coverage so you can pretend the word concealer doesn't exist in your dictionary this shade is called lavender and I was really interested in getting this one just for again color correcting purposes you can see how brightening it is and I was interested in sort of using that under the eye area for really brightening that area then I also did pick up that same product in the yellow shade they call this one in yellow and again this is for the full coverage concealer I'll just show you next to the purple how the yellow one look there you go you can see them together really nice for brightening the face so in addition to that I did also pick up five lip liner pencils I got the colors mauve nude beige sweet bean and then up here you can see coffee and nude truffle nude truffle is just a little bit browner than the nude beige and I was just disappointed I couldn't find the 1000 years lip liner I've been told that that's a great dupe for Mac Stone, which I love. Next, my sister and I hit up a little sparkly jewellery store. I'm like a magpie. When I see something sparkling, I've just got to go over to it. And I got a little sparkly star with a clip on the bottom. You can put that in your hair on a piece of clothing here. I'll stick it on here. There you go. So something really sparkly. I did also get a little bow ring. My sister picked up a bow ring too so that we could be 
bow twins, bow sisters, and it's got a little adjustable clamp on the back. My fingers are quite fat, so I'll make mine bigger, but that's what it looks like there. Just a very cute little Dimentis little bow. It reminded me of Purse Buzz's stuff, but uh, I don't think it's associated with her. So anyway, my sister and I have little matching ones of that. I think she got, I can't remember if she got silver or not. Did you, lady? I'm not sure. And then I also picked up some little bow earrings in that same design. A little clip so you can clip your hair with that little bow. I thought that was so cute. And then lastly, a hair elastic that just has that plait to sort of, you know, camouflage in with the hair. Next, I hit the Gorgeous Cosmetics stand. And Gorgeous Cosmetics is an Australian brand. They're a bunch of really nice people. I got a chance to meet the uh, Australian director as well as the founder of the company. They were really, really nice. And I was really impressed with the products that I saw on display there. So I got a couple of lipsticks from them. It describes their lipsticks as the smooth, fine texture, feeling luxuriously lightweight on your lips, enriched with emollients to nourish lips. So I got two shades. I got one gorgeous cosmetics lipstick in the shade buff they really have nice uh, packaging it's sort of metallic rounded corner black sort of square packaging and buff looks like this just a beautiful sort of peachy nude color and then I also got the shade Sophia and Sophia was a really nice peachy color as well a lot more peachy than the first shade you can see there buff and Sophia really pretty sort of neutrally nudish type shades the last thing i got from gorgeous cosmetics was their contour palette and i thought this was absolutely beautiful when i swatched it it does come with a full size mirror and then it comes with these eight shades we've got all kinds of shades even blushes just a beautiful nice palette to use every day to travel with to put in your kit so I was really impressed with that palette looking forward to showing you a little bit more about that down the track if I like it as I use it I did get this really nice sort of clear makeup case perfect for travel I love clear when it comes to makeup bags and travel makeup cases makes it so much easier to find things quickly this was from a store run by a company called Namie's Beauty Center and Namie's Beauty Center are actually uh, located in Valley Village in California California. They just had a lot of sort of pro makeup cases. This was one of the smallest things that they had, but they have in this sort of similar material, nice big makeup professional kit type cases. Absolutely gorgeous. If I didn't have suitcases to worry about and I was a professional makeup artist, I would have bought up a lot more at that store. Then the next place I hit was Ardell. Ardell had a deal, something like three or four pairs of lashes for $10 and then they threw in a few things depending on your spend. So I did get for free their adhesive lash grip. I haven't used that before. I've only ever used their duo. I did pick up their duo adhesive in the 14 gram the clear one as well as another one of the uh, dark tone duos and I really like that so the lashes that I picked up from Ardell I got three pairs of their fashion lashes in the 105 you can see what they look like just sort of nice dramatic basic lashes I got one set of their Invisiband wispies I love those they're just so natural looking and absolutely beautiful and then I got two sets of their runway makeup artist collection lashes in Daisy and they're black as well so really looking forward to using those lashes and then the next place I went was Royal and Langnickel for their brushes I know that they definitely come to Sydney I don't have any Royal and Lang Nickel brushes at all, but they certainly had a lot on display and for very inexpensive prices. I uh, brought this bag to the show. I didn't realize that they'd be handing out bags as you went in, but I found this bag actually at Priceline in Australia and brought this for the show for the express purpose of putting my purchases in, put the makeup in the bag and nobody gets hurt. I thought that iMats was the perfect place to take this bag. And this is where my brushes are. So I'll just pull them out randomly. Oh, this was a beautiful brush this was the biggest type kabuki brush from royal and lang nickel it's so soft they call this a dome kabuki with a handle it is synthetic hair and while i was there i met a guy who i'd been seeing on um purse buzzers Tuesday tips or Thursday tips and he was recommending this kabuki to us as a dust off brush and we had a great conversation about powder and how to keep powder on and how to apply powder and he recommended what Wayne Goss has been recommending and a lot of other makeup artists and it's putting your foundation on whatever you use and then setting with a powder with a powder puff 
by pressing the powder in. Pressing it in, pressing it into your pores, pressing it into your skin, and then using a brush just to knock off the excess. And then once you've done that, you just spray down with a makeup finishing spritz and that will last you all day. He said it can get cakey when you apply powder with this kind of a product. It can get cakey, people wonder what they've done wrong, but that's how those brushes should be used. I also bought it as an all over sort of body bronzer, looking forward to using that. I did also get their C255 Stippler. This is the Royal and Langnickel Silk range. Just a really nice duo fiber, like a mini MAC 187. Really great for cream blushes and highlight, uh, cream bronzer, that kind of thing. From their Silk Green line, a couple of their concealer brushes. Just a really nice sort of tapered dome, very flat brush, great for packing on shadow and concealer quite stiff so good for precision. I did also pick up from their Silk Line a C130 pointed dome powder. It's a little bit flat because of, I've had it in the packaging but it is actually a round brush and it reminds me of the, um, the MAC as well as the Sigma tapered face brush. Really love that for bronzer. This is a great one for doing the C, a great one for contouring the cheekbones. I just I really love brushes. This uh, shape so I wanted to try the Royal and Langnickel and that one was available for $13. I did also pick up from their Brush Essentials, this is their crease brush, you can see it just there, kind of like a 224. I picked up a, an MD eye shader, a medium I guess eye shader, an angled brow, you can never have too many of those angled brow brushes. And this one is so soft, it's one of my favourites, this is from their Silk Pro line. This is Royal and Langnickel's Contour Shadow Brush, C265. And you can see it there, it's larger than like a 224, but it is tapered, it's beautiful. You could use that for, you know, precision contouring, contouring down the nose, highlighting as well. It's nice precision because of the size of it, but I love the taper. You could use that for just really soft blends in the crease or just soft washes all over the eyelid. I just absolutely loved the shape and size of that brush. Really looking forward to seeing what I get from that. And then the last thing I got from Royal and Langnickel was one of their belts. So I got their black belt here, but I really liked that it had the three tiers and you can just fit a whole lot of brushes of varying sizes in there. So really excited about that. So that is my haul from IMAT's New York City. It was such a thrill to go. Such a thrill to meet all these wonderful, talented people. There was so much energy. Fantastic to have an all-girly overnight trip with my sister and to meet Amy and Natasha. It just meant the world. I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Thank you, New York City. And anyone who is interested in attending any, any other IMATs down the track, um, definitely an experience you'll never forget. I really had a fantastic time and would recommend it to you fans of uh, makeup who want to go, definitely. But go early and wear comfortable shoes. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I will be posting more videos upcoming just showing different bits and pieces that I did also pick up in the US and uh, looking forward to seeing you soon next time. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.